hello guys and welcome my name is cj manuel in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do pi token kyc okay i'm going to show you step by step how to verify your kyc on pi token so make sure you watch this video to the end don't skip any part of this video I i'm going to lead you all the way from the beginning to the end so pay very close attention if you are not subscribed to the channel do well to subscribe click the subscribe button immediately click subscribe button a bell icon will pop up click that bell icon and then select the option that says all okay by so doing you are fully and properly subscribed to the channel and also do well to type in the comment section pi and also share this video thank you very much for doing that thank you for being kind okay so um pi uh, that's what we have to note here okay there is difference between pi network and pi browser okay so that i don't get confused uh, pi network is where you do your uh, pi mining that's where you mine your pi token your pi token whereas the pi browser okay is what you need for uh, to do your kyc you need the browser in order to be able to do KYC, okay? Uh, so you can go download the browser. And once you download the browser, you have to wait. Wait until you get a message in your PI network. That is the side you are mining the token, okay? There is always a message that will pop up. when If you are due for KYC, once you log into your PI network to mine your pi token you will receive a message okay about the readiness of your kyc or the availability of your kyc i hope that is very clear so you must get an invitation message to do your kyc before you can do your kyc so you can just download your browser and wait until you get that message from the mining app which is the pi network so both apps can be downloaded on play store the pi network you download it on play store the pi token you can also download it on play store now if you want to create your pi network account so that you can start mining make sure you are using my referral link so click this link do your registration after doing your registration online you can then get your browser and use the link the details you use in creating the account to log into uh, into your account using the uh, new app okay so use this referral link to create your account now you have to pay very close attention because we are going to be very very fast okay so let's get started so this is our pi network so uh assessing the account now we see these notifications that says congratulations you have been selected to start the kyc identity uh, verification process which is needed to receive your pi okay so you click go kyc okay if you click this go kyc it's going to take you to your browser but if, if you've not downloaded the browser, it's going to prompt you to download it. Okay. So you can then follow instruction. Um, if it prompts you from the site to download, you see continue. You click the continue. It brings you to this section. Then you download the browser. You click install. Once, it, once it's done, you can then open it up. Okay. Sometime when you want to access the browser, you may be required to log in so you can put your PI details to log in or you just cancel it and it brings you to this section of the browser. Okay, so you can go to the KYC section by clicking KYC and then you will have to fill in all these details. So here is country uh, type or select country from your ID. Now, the country you are going to put here is the, is the country in the ID you are using. So, everything you are filling here should correspond with your ID. If you have three names in your ID, four names, five names in your ID, 
make sure whatever you are feeling here corresponds with your id okay so let's get started so you once you click here it's going to bring your drop down you select your country and boom you get your country your yeah, id type you can click here to select your id type depending on your country okay whatever displays there depends on your country so you can now select your id car uh, type for the purpose of this video we are using driver's license so i choose driver's license and boom we have it here so you click this this box here this ash box here to activate that section once you click the ash box you get this notification here all you just have to do is you click agree i agree and once you do that boom it is marked congratulations you do the next one you click the next box and it will also be marked congratulations you click this other box too and boom this notification pops up you click i agree okay and boom it is done congratulations all three have been marked now what you have to do next is to click let's go so once you click let's go it brings you to this section you click next the next button you click the next button again you click the next button again now they are just preparing your mind on the things you need to get ready okay the first one let's go back the first one is id photo type in your information id confirmation uh, pi payment so just click next again and here we go now always go through this information because it helps you to know how best to give them what you want in order to be approved okay number one here they say that your your phone should be in landscape mode okay to properly capture the id okay there should be good lining and contrast data clearly visible photo fill all of camera okay so you don't have the photo have to be very very uh have to fool the camera okay not to be very far off so all these are precautions you need to take in order for them to accept the I, uh, id you are submitting and this is bad the the things you are not expected to do okay so just watch if they see how it is now the the the, the id is in landscape but your phone is in portrait so it doesn't correspond okay because your id is expected to fool this image here so even if you keep your phone long okay in portrait format that means your id you would have rotate you would have turned your id to make your id portrait in order to correspond it would have been accepted with the uh, with the head facing this side you will also see it in my video as we proceed so let's click i am ready okay so click i'm ready here we go you can click while using this app accept it okay here we go so you have to add front photo i hope you are, you now have your id ready so now you have to scan the front side of the id so click add front photo once you click add front photo you, you will get this camera okay this white edge is is uh, the size of where our id should contain so you have to bring it very close you can see the id is almost at the edge almost at the edge almost at the edge almost at the edge okay so this is it has to zoom very well you get the point now as you can see my camera is in portrait format so because for that reason i had to also keep my id in portrait format okay so it corresponds with the instruction okay if i had kept my id my id in landscape format i would have also rotated my camera according to the instruction so that it will correspond i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so the head of my id is this side and this is the bottom of my id that is a proper placement now I haven't set it properly what i have to do i click my snap it sometimes it will snap automatically but that may be taking too much of time so i just do the snapping by myself by clicking the snap button okay and boom we have it properly set our id head is here the bottom is here properly arranged so the next thing we have to do is to scan the back so click the add back photo button once you do that you also snap the back 
okay the same process click the snap it will snap and boom we have both sides now so you have to click next step okay once you click the next step it's going to take you to the next section now you see the instruction say please enter your data in the same language that your id is written okay so uh, if your id card is written for example if your id card is written in korea okay the language you should use in this form should be in korea okay i hope that is very clear the language you should use in the form should be in korea so that to correspond with the language of the id so here you put your first name here you put your middle name here you put your son name so if you have every other middle name this is where i put them even if it is four put it according to what you have in your id okay all the names have to be represented you get that good so you still scroll down once you scroll down you continue filling the form uh, when it comes to the gender section once you click the gender section you will, you are going to get this drop down you select male or female and then it's selected then your date of birth make sure it corresponds with what you have in the id so you click this date of birth section it brings the calendar for you to choose you click here to select the year okay you see this drop down you you scroll and select the year and then you click here to select the month okay you you select the month then you click the day once you click the day boom your date will appear now document id number what is the id you are presenting the id you, you snapped what is the number you type the number here manually okay what is the expiration date of the id you click here the calendar pops up you select the year okay then you also click here to select the month and then you select the day and boom it the expiration date will also uh, reflect so now you say my id card does not have expiration date now if your id card does not have expiration date you don't have to fill this section just click this uh, ash box at the corner and then follow the prompts okay now having i hope that is very clear that's if your id doesn't have expiration date but if it does have you fill it then don't click here if it has just fill it and forget about this okay now country of residence you can click here to choose your country of residence so if you can't find it just type in the search bar you will quickly see your country of residence you click it and there we go that is done now address there are two section two lines for address so the second line is optional you can use only the first line but if it's not enough you can then fill the second line so you fill your address the city the state your zip code and then you click the next step button okay then it brings you to this section like i said read to also understand so you say perform a live a liveness check to confirm that you are a real person now this is the good example on how to do it good lighting whole face your whole face have to be what visible okay now this is bad example as you can see face is covered okay this person is wearing a mask here and then dark lightning is not very clear so this is bad and this is good example so make sure you are in a place where uh, the light is bright enough to show your face okay and not too bright that your face will no longer be clear you get that so proper lightning so click i'm ready once you know you are in the proper place click i'm ready and then click start recording okay and here we go so your face is expected to be in this circle you can see this circle is in red or pink as the case may be 
so your face should come into it okay put your face let it occupy almost everything here okay so once you do that it's going to start reading it will be in green and it will start reading and boom your photo has been taken you can see photo taken okay and then immediately automatically you see this liveness detection completed successfully so you are done your image has been taken okay then it's also going to process automatically just wait for it to process and after processing boom your picture is here okay if for any reason you didn't complete your kyc you can always go back and start from where you stopped okay you can go back to the browser click kyc and start from where you stopped i hope that is very clear so here we are i say you will be charged one pi one pi once your pi is transferred to the main net so the fee for this is one pi that's okay so click submit and pay okay submit and pay here we go so you click yes data is accurate so you see submit application submitting is irreversible make sure all the data you provided is valid as you will not be able to make corrections afterward okay if it's correct say it's correct and go ahead but if it's not correct say no i want to edit because after now you cannot edit i hope that is very clear so ours is correct so we just click yes data is accurate and boom it will start to process and boom congratulations your application has been submitted thank you for submitting your kyc application you will be notified about the status of your application very soon if your application is approved you can apply apply to become a kyc validator in the future thank you so you can click here to see your status your application status and um, as you can see it says welcome back here you can track your kyc application status uh, your application status review in progress you say this will take a while depending on how many kyc validators are available in your region so that's it now if you want to go back later to find out the status of your kyc all you have to do is to go to your browser your pi browser open your pi browser and come to kyc and boom you are going to see the status of your application so in this case your application status kyc passed okay your kyc application is completed and approved so congratulations we have been able to do our kyc without stress remember you have to be invited to do kyc before you have the access to do your kyc so at the moment download the browser then uh, and start mining okay use my referral link the referral link is in the description box of this video if you don't know how to find the description box just click the title of this video if you're watching on youtube just click the title of this video and the description box will be visible for you and if you want to see all the links in the description box click the link that says more you will see all the links in everything in the description box okay of course i have other ways to make money online do well to join my other telegram groups and other groups where we show how to make money online okay so get in touch we have other cryptos you can download very important cryptos in this bull run you are going to make lots of money so we have done that now if you want to be approving um kyc for other people you can click this become validator then they will, are going to give you some tutorials on how to be a validator study it very carefully because after that they are going to give you a test based on what they have taught you okay if you fail that test then you can't be a validator but if you pass the test you will be a validator so go through the tutorial that they are going to give you carefully then write the exam very simple exam it's not difficult 
if if you pay attention to the tutorial they sent they gave you it will not be difficult now you also help in validating other people's kyc this will be earning you more pi token i hope that is very clear once again like this video please give it a thumbs up that is the only way you support our channel give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel in the comment section please type pi pi token okay type pi token thank you so much and share this video i wish you guys the best of luck see you in my groups bye okay before i log off this is very important once you join my telegram channel legit online news okay the link is in the description box so use the link in the description box so that you don't go to a wrong group very very important once you come to this group you can search for for the tokens we are mining okay we are mining q t x a i token or q token uh, or q a i okay we are also mining um this this other token okay um this one is called dot chain okay dot chain there are lots of things we are doing you can scroll through and see the ais we are mining we have dot chain you have qai these are very important uh, airdrops you should be mining uh, this is already buying we are already buying this uh, that is a uh, shiba ai this one you can already buy okay the link is there so just search through and see what you can get the free ones and the ones you can buy if you have the money to risk you can risk to buy if or you look for the free ones and keep start mining them very very important remember we are in the bull run things are going to happen very very fast this shiba ai i think is going to do well okay it has grown uh, very massively and i believe it's going to do well i just bought some of it okay but this qai is free and dot chain is also free okay we are mining in dot chain you mine two coins one is the, is the dot coin and the other one is the uh, ace coin here you play games to mine here you just log in and click mine it will be mine every day you log in and click mine it will be mining automatically and as you are referring people you will also be getting commissions and mining power you'll be getting mining power as you are referring people okay so two coins here okay but this one is you request playing of simple games to be acquiring them all will be launched soon okay thank you guys